Every time you play a master tape, which is a copy number 17,514 of the Beatles, and you don't think there's a loss over 50 years of copying. So we actually, is that right, Mike? We actually love it that the Philips and Sony digitized all our music, otherwise it would have been gone. And most wine you're buying are based on the digital master anyway, because the original masters are gone for 100 years ago. I'm always worried when these guys say, oh, real to real is the best source. I don't find that at all. Not at all. Because what, what generation of tapes of the Beatles are you talking about? Is that generation number <coughs> 17,540? And if you have copied tape to original from one tape to another, you know you have lost a hell of a lot of quality. So analog is dying. That's why I protect my first pressing of the Beatles <laughs> a lot. Because are they sounding better than stream after it? Yes, I do. Okay. But uh, and when you heard the first pressing by the Beatles or the Stones, I'm a lucky guy that like, when Beatles came out, I was still a kid. And uh, we didn't print the uh, vinyls in Denmark, so it was import uh, from from UK. And they are magic to these. But uh, we are lucky that Philips and Sony make sure we have our music forever young. Sony and who? And Philips. Philips, okay. So they, uh, they did a fantastic oh, yeah. job. And Michael, I don't find it's uh, the AD conversion, which is the issue. Because I went to see Philips in Einhofen when they came out with a DAC, uh, the 16 bit DAC. I still get goosebumps from it because it's still a. It's, I remember it. it was Beautiful. We believe it's conversion from B to A, which is the issue with the latter decks and so on. We don't find that good enough. So Michael can explain a little bit more deep into what you think about this. But analog by nature is dying. There's, there's no doubt about that. Because the tapes are losing their, their magnetism and they shine through from one layer to the other. And every time you come into something else, we get less and less. It's very simple. So every time you make a conversion, you have an issue because you have less quality. So the conversion, we want to have as little conversion as possible. But what you have today is directly access to the digital masters when you stream directly. The q 5 is still the best streaming service we have. The friends have hit the nail. Yeah. So they uh, not only I've never been specifically fucked about <laughs> French high <Wi> five, <laughs> but, but these guys have damn hit the nail and it's still the best. Maybe not in the future, but you have direct access to the digital masters when you stream. So music service and anything when you store your music on servers, you have an issue, of course you have a conversion and you get less compared to what you hear here. So um, let me play something with show like Streaming is absolutely here. Um, that was pretty nice with the Ben Webster, wasn't yeah, it? So, uh, we are a bit pushed the uh, But there's a lot of issues when it comes to recordings. Can I have your old tapes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the old tapes are gone. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah. They, they are really, there's only one master tape. Yeah. Where, uh, in the app, uh, uh, studio, they, they did the first generation of what they call master tapes. But that original master tape, I ran into a guy, his name is actually Graham Garner, and uh, he lives in Liverpool. And um, they made for many years ago some of the shots that I really liked. Uh, but this guy, um, we went out to, in Liverpool uh, to have something to eat in a pub, and there was a live band in there, and uh, I didn't notice if they're good or bad, really, because. They didn't hit me with the music, but then Graham went up there and adjusted the bass guitar, the rhythmic guitar, the lead guitar, and, and so uh, the guy sitting behind the, the mixer away and said, and then suddenly I figured out there was a damn good band playing up there. Uh, and then, um, I, where do you have this from? Graham, oh, I have to be a studio musician and a very skilled uh, guitarist. 
and I was actually the 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 rep, uh, replacement for Josh Harrison in the band, the Beatles. <laughs> I say, okay, and one of his the niece is one of the Spice Girls. <laughs> so we have a lot of, and he actually been one of the producers of uh, quite a few of Madonna's uh, hmm. uh, albums. So he's very skilled. I said, and then we talked about the master tapes. And we, uh, we are fooled around by these guys selling master tapes out there because they're not close to being an original master tape. It's a copy of something which was alive for 50 years or 60 years ago. I said that the first master tape, the mother master tape, they made a, a matrix and made 100 Beatles uh, vinyls. And each of them, uh, they gave, or these 25 pieces, they gave to the the member of Beatles. And if you have a John Lennon uh, rubber soul, it's a costly one. I've never seen him, but Graham said, they are there, Lars. You can count on them, and they are in the league of their own performance wise. But when you hear about the first pressing can, yeah, I think um, as long as this uh, vinyls are in a good shape, is it better than streaming? Yeah. But if you have a remaster by the Beatles, it's a digital remaster, or something. Mm. And it's where streaming is coming in, because when you stream, you have direct access to the, to the digital master. That's what you have. And you have only a few conversions. So, uh, oh, that's getting serious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a I will uh, play a piece of you to show that uh, Streaming can do something while it's not close to. First of all, the digital media have a much wider dynamic headroom <coughs> than vinyl is. They have higher resolution than vinyl is ever going to have. So there's a lot of specs from, from digital media so superior to vinyl. Vinyl have a one skill is that they have a handshake between what the cartridge, the needle is doing down in the group, they make mechanical movements into electrical signal, and the drivers in the speaker is doing the opposite. So a speaker and a, and the vinyl understands its own. But the uh, turntable is a living device. And if that angle on that needle going down in this group is not exactly 92 degrees, you damn have a problem but then you ruin all, all your vinyls. What does that mean? That, that means that uh, your turntable have to be adjusted extremely often if you want to have keep it in a good shape. Because the rubber uh, suspension around the, the, uh, what is it, the cantilever uh, start out to be pretty hard and then it's smoothing up. And when it's smoothing up, you have a different angle and that means you in general have to lower the tone arm height when you lower the tone height, you take some of the weight away from the cartridge. And when you higher the tone arm height, you have to, oh, sorry, the other way around, you have to increase the weight and otherwise. So, uh, so if you if a turntable is not properly adjusted, then you are fucked. <laughs> <laughs> and most turntables I'm listening to, uh, the the VCA, the tone arm height is always too high. I hear it in two seconds. And you think the car is totally parallel to, to the surface of the vinyl? I guarantee it's not. So you don't have 92 two degrees. And then you have the old decades. And they have a different angle. They are around 88 uh, degrees. And that means that we have to have a tone arm, which is around uh, six foot long, to track those. <laughs> or a shelf which can be adjustable. And then you have a different height on your vinyl. They're not exactly the same height on the vinyls you have. But I'm showing you where, where the digital media is absolutely superior. There's no turntable on this planet, including my own. And actually, we are making a turntable right now. <laughs> so, uh, I love the media. Uh, but uh, you have to be careful now. In general, I would say, tell you, forget what you think you know about. And especially the analog versus digital. I just want to show you there was a very intelligent guy, his name was Albert Einstein. Who? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know him really, yeah. but you should hear about it. He, everything is energy he's telling us. And this also where we have a total different point of view when it comes to music. Music is not about frequencies and sound. 
It's about the energy, because it's energy. So we are not listening in frequencies, we are listening in transients. And it's where the time domain has to be right. If your speakers are fucking it up, or your choice, or whatever you have is fucking up, it can only be sound, not music. So, energy is instant, where sound and, and light is in time and space. That's why it doesn't really make sense we are talking about how it does the sound. We know instantly when it's a good bass guitarist. We know also on physics that guy coming on the other side of the road, don't go over there. We don't even have to think about it because energy is instant, it's now. It's why we're listening in transit, it's from the zero energy up here and back again. And that's why there's a need for speed. It's like high performance cars. There's no, so it's where we have a totally different approach. Do we measure our speed? Of course we do, because we have a, a wrong polarity on a, on a driver. You can have a crossover problem where maybe one of the components don't have the right value or whatever. It shows up. But transient is in the time to be. That means that the triple and the deep space have to meet this ear in the same second. So, uh, so there's a need for speed, and that's what we're pretty good at. I'll tell you a track where I just show extreme dynamic echo. And that's the point of high quality streamers today. And streamers today, when you do an uh, Ethernet switch right and the uh, LAN cables right, um, it kills the CD, CD player. So you see, it's dead. Forget it. It's like music streamers. They are dead. Um, so the only thing shining is first question by the Beatles on vinyl, <laughs> because they have magic. They do have magic. But most of your vinyls you buy are based on a digital master. So you have to make a conversion from the digital media into analog, and you have to make sure to do the vinyl on the same with CD and the tapes. Mumbo Jumbo is coming now. 